Hello, you beautiful 99ers. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Sway to the 99, and I typically post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Um, I do 99 cent only store walkthroughs and hauls, uh, Dollar Tree store walkthroughs and hauls, and budget meals where I show you guys how to make very delicious, budget-friendly meals using all items that I found at the 99 cent only store and or the Dollar Tree. Uh, so today's video, I know it said this would normally have gone up on, on Wednesday, um, but I decided to scrap the original video and bring you guys a very special two-part uh, video. So I'm gonna be doing a special Valentine's video series this week and next week leading up to Valentine's, which is Friday the 14th. Uh, so if you guys don't remember that, make sure you put it on your calendar. Um, so I wanted to bring you guys some really fun, delicious, and of course, a budget-friendly ideas you guys can do for your um, for the hubsters, for the wifey, for your boyfriend, girlfriend, the side piece, <laughs> um, you know, just, you know, fun ideas or even just with, with the family. Um, so today's video is going to be a um, part one of part two, and I'm going to just quickly show you guys the ingredients or the items that I'll be using in today's video. And I promise you it's super easy and very delicious, and I cannot wait to try it. All right, guys. So here is the first item I'm going to be using. Then I have an apple, banana, some straws with the little hearts and yes i'm so excited i'm going to be doing chocolate covered um strawberries apple and banana so i'm going to do a choco banana um chocolate covered strawberries and a banana and i'm also going to be doing a little frappe um this is something you guys can share with the boo um and of course of course i do have some whipped cream um, to go with that so you can make a nice delicious a frappe for the honey so again this is part one of two so i'm just going to show you guys oh and of course i did purchase the um heart tray from the 99s and only store i don't know why the color is being washed out but this is more of the um tiffany blue color um so it's really cute and i thought this could be a nice way to display it for you know for your honey and of course i am going to be using my blender so the first thing we do want to um get done is rinse out all of our strawberries and i did pick out the best strawberries i could find at the 99 they had a nice array but of course i went for the carton that had the biggest ones <laughs> um there we go doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. and i hope you all had a wonderful week and gearing up for a um, restful fun weekend and maybe hitting up the 99 cent only store um and like i said if you are new um i typically post my 99 cent only store walkthroughs on saturday um so definitely check me out and i also do have the sway to the 99 scholarship so if you are um someone in college or in any type of trade school or high school or if your kids are in that category um, I will link down my scholarship video down below so they can enter. Um, and this is in partnership with the with Couponing for Cost, her charity, as well as the 99 cent only store. So I am really excited to be able to uh, branch out outside of doing videos and really helping out more people out there. So, all right, I think these are ready. <laughs> there we go. So one item that I like to use a lot is this cloth that was gifted to me by 99 Loyal, which is basically a um, scrub cloth for your fruits and veggies. So this is a nice way to get any excess, um, you know, just dirt or whatever um, off your veggies without having to use any chemicals. And I absolutely love it. I think, believe she found this at the 99 cent only store. Um, so thank you again, 99 Loyal. I use this all the time and it absolutely works very well. There we go. So let's get this chocolate nice and melted. So the first thing we need to do is put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Then we're gonna stir and, and then let it hit heat for another two minutes. And then we're gonna dip our fruit in here and begin the fun. So excited. So a quick correction. So you're actually supposed to, um, oh, sorry about that. You're actually supposed to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, stir it and put it back in um, and do that basically for about two minutes worth of 30 seconds. So um, four times until everything is fully melted. You guys can see it starting to melt already. If my hand wasn't in the way. <laughs> Um, but you guys get the idea. So I'm going to be continuing doing this for probably another minute. So two more 30 seconds until it's fully melted. And then we can start dipping in the fun. So you guys, as you guys can see, this is pretty much already fully melted. So I did keep it in the microwave for um, 
30 sec or two minutes in um in the microwave but in intervals of 30 seconds so basically every 30 seconds i would take it out and stir it so i think this is pretty much ready so we can begin part one of this video's um fun adventure all right let the fun dipping begin so exciting so basically what you want to do is just want to make sure that anything like leftover drips out there we go and i'm going to just try to try <laughs> to put them upside okay that's not going to work so basically i'm just going to um sit them down this way Ooh, got a little sample of the chocolate there we go. You want to make sure you get cover most of it, um, but enough that you can still grab it so you're not making a complete mess. Okay, that one needs a little more dipping. Um, but as you guys can see, this is a really simple idea, and I can't wait to get my hands on that frappe and try it out. All right, I think this one is pretty covered. Basically, I'm just rolling it around in the chocolate. We can make sure everything gets coated. Oh my God, you guys, I can't wait to try this. I actually did do this idea last year, not for a cooking video, but actually for, for personal usage. And um, yeah, it was, it was definitely uh, welcomed. <laughs> Um, here we go. I'm going to try in some apple. I've never tried the apple before, but I figured, you know what? Why not try it? Okay, I think the chocolate's getting a little hard, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remelt it and bring it right back. All right, so let's dip our apples in here. Ooh. These look delicious. Basic, <clears throat> excuse me. Basically, you just want to make sure you coat enough of it, um, so you can still grab some from the. Well, you can still grab it from this from one of the sides. Um, but the good thing about this chocolate is that it dries pretty quickly, um, so it doesn't. Um, it doesn't. Uh, you know, it doesn't take a while. So you guys can make this a few minutes before you're about to enjoy it. Um, so you actually make sure that it gets nice and you know, basically enjoy it as it's still fresh. Um, you know, and obviously you can refrigerate it if you choose to, um, but basically these do dry pretty quickly. So like I said, you don't need to do a lot of uh, preparation up front. Mm. Ooh, yeah, the chocolate is definitely hitting the spot. And look, you guys, <laughs> I use the, um, the straws as my little handle because obviously these do need, to, I'm going to put these in the freezer for a couple of minutes um, after I dip them. Uh, but basically, you know, just basically just to make sure that the chocolate gets nice and, you know, basically attaches to the banana. But I have two right here. So basically just cut one banana in half. So, this one definitely brings back memories, um, even just from my childhood, um, visiting grandma's house because um, she would always make these for me. This def, def, this is, was definitely one of my favorite um, uh, treats growing up. And I know that you can find the sliced pieces, you know, at like Trader Joe's and stuff, but you know, I prefer, you know, the old school style of making it yourself. There we go. So I'm basically just letting the, the excess chocolate rinse out or drip out. All right, so for our frappe, we're gonna need one cup of water. And I'm just gonna use a ball of ice <laughs> and call it a cup. Actually, hmm, it might break actually. Mm, I'll try it. Throw in one packet of Gavalia right there. All right, so I actually opted for a regular, a regular ice cube, so which also requires one cup of ice. There you go. And now let's blend it. All right, now to fill up our cup, our glass rather. And yes, I did find this at the 99. Oh, I'm making a mess. 
<laughs> I did find, oh my God. I did find this at the 99 cent only store. All right. I hope you guys can do a better job. To <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I definitely would not have made it at Starbucks. I would I would have gotten fired on day one. All right, I'm just gonna clean this up really quickly. And I'm showing you guys literally this is this is real. This is not stage. This is this is real life. <laughs> right, I'm gonna clean this up real quick and bring you guys right back. All right, so let's see if I actually would have graduated from Frappuccino school. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Look at me. <laughs> Let me just move the camera slightly so you guys can see the whole thing. There we go. All right, so it's not bad. I didn't completely mess it up. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit, or at least try before I make a mess again, is a little bit of this uh, blackberry syrup to give it a nice unexpected flavor. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna go too crazy because then I feel like I'm gonna spill it all over the place, but um, just try to get a nice little um, drip down each side. There we go. All right, I think that's enough. <laughs> you guys get the idea. And of course, you need our straws. Look how pretty it looks. Oh, <laughs> I know it's food. I know it's food. I know you normally you don't say food is pretty, but it looks cool. So you guys can see a close-up of the final frap. And then the other fruit is already in the freezer. So I'm gonna take it out so we can do a final look and taste test for both. I'm really excited to try this, you guys. So here is the final products. Um, as you guys can see, I did put the um, strawberries in the freezer just for a little bit, um, actually, and also the banana. Um, but this is the final product. So I'm really excited to give this a one a quick taste test and try it out and let you guys know what I think. Um, I need to hurry up because the, <laughs> the um, whipped cream is starting to um, get a little soft. But as you guys can see, this is a really simple and fun idea. You guys can try at home with your loved ones to celebrate Valentine's Day. So, all right, enough chatting. Let's do the quick taste test. All right, guys, I'm really excited to try this one. <laughs> it's probably the most calorie filled one, but you know what? It's totally worth it. Although it's technically fruit, so you know, it's healthy. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna give it a quick taste test. So I'm gonna start off with the frap because that, that is starting to, um, you know, just get a little soft. So I wanna make sure that I get that. Um, let's try it. Mmm, wow, this actually, this frap tastes really good. All right, I'm gonna try it with the whipped cream now. Mmm. Wow, okay, maybe I could have made it at Starbucks. Maybe I could have a career, you know, as, as um, on the side um, as a uh, barista. It's pretty good. Gavalia never fails, so um, I, wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try the Choco Banana. Mmm, oh my God. This brings back, this brings back memories. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make more because I'm like, yeah, this brings back memories. So I need to eat more. Mmm. All right. Now, you, you know, don't wanna get full. I'm gonna try a little bit of everything. <laughs> wow. Look at the strawberries. Look how quickly they harden up. Wow, and look in the back, it looks so glassy. That's pretty cool. Hmm. This tastes just like the um, edible arrangements. And you would definitely save yourself a lot of money. All right, now let's try the apple. The apple didn't stick so well. So I'll probably say, don't do the apple. What I did do last year, um, again, and I did it not for, for camera, but just for personal use, I did do pineapple. And I was gonna do pineapple this time, but the pineapples that I found at the 99 were just a little too small, and I didn't really think it was worth it. But all right, I'm gonna give this one a try. Mm. Uh, honestly, I, I don't like it. And, I don't, I, and I'm telling you guys, I rarely say that, but 
I think the, the chocolate and the apple don't do, <laughs> didn't do so well. Um, but I definitely would say do the pineapple because that is really good. And if you guys do have been watching me for a while, you know that I do like pineapple. I rather love pineapples. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is good. I'm going to do two straws. <laughs> you can tell the boo. Um, you can make your own. <laughs> mm. I know couponing for cause. I know you have bought this for um, the hubby and for your daughter. And I think they will love it because this is really, really good. Mm. Oh my God, you guys, this is so good. I'm like, maybe this is dinner. <laughs> um, so I guess I mentioned this is part one of two. Next week, I'm going to have um, even new, different ideas, kind of less expected ideas for Valentine's. I'm really excited. So I hope you guys come back next Wednesday. I promise I will be back on my regular schedule for my cooking video. So I will be back next Wednesday. And as a quick reminder, I am part of the 99 Shopaholics on Facebook, so definitely check them out. I have a link down below. And also, I am still trying to give away my, my one year anniversary um, prize. The person has not claimed it, so if you, if you are, if you haven't watched my latest 99 Cent Only Store walkthrough, definitely check it out. I will link it down below because the winner has not come forward yet. And it's funny because this person always messages me, and this week they've been a little quiet, so I'm just giving them the benefit of the doubt. Um, and I think they probably just forgot to check my video. But anyway, if you are watching, you probably should be watching my walkthrough uh, to make sure. Um, if you, and if I don't get the winner by the end of the day, I will be picking a new winner probably on Saturday and hopefully somebody will claim the prize. <laughs> this is the first time ever that I've had somebody not claim their prize. Uh, hopefully not twice in a row. So anyway, I will leave you guys with that. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a great evening. And as always, and don't forget, to do the 99.